In this video, you're going to learn how to find the line of best fit by estimating using two points on that line of best fit, and then we're going to write the equation using our slope and either the slope intercept form or the point slope form. Now, if you want to find the exact line of best fit, check out my video on linear regression using the graphing calculator. But for this video, we're going to do some estimation. We're going to basically do it by hand. It's kind of a rough way of doing it. So we'll go through two examples. You can practice one on your own if you want to get some practice. But the first thing I would do is I would plot the uh, points that you're given. You may be given a graph like this already. And then what you want to do is you want to estimate where would you put this line of best fit. Well, you can see that it's trending up to the right like this. You don't want your line to be so high that all the points are below that line. You don't want your line so low that all the points are above that line. You want to draw it so that it comes basically as close to the points as possible. Some of the points might be a little bit above, some might be a little bit below. Again, you're just it's an approximation. Now, if I was doing this one here, I might draw a line of best fit something like this. And I can see that there's two points here that are on the line. I'm going to use these two points to help me to find my slope and to help me to find my y-intercept and to get a good equation of the line. Now, if you're doing this on graph paper, you might say, well, it looks like my approximate line of best fit is going through this point, maybe uh, 3, 1. And you can use that point even though it doesn't represent one of your data points. But in this case, for this example, let's use this point here, which is at 4, 3 and 1, negative 3. So in order to find the slope, remember your slope formula, you subtract the y's over the difference in the axis, paying attention that the order is important. So if I do 3 minus negative 3 over 4 minus 1, that's giving me, let's see, 6 over 3, which is a slope of 2. Okay, so now we have the slope. Now, I oftentimes like to use the point slope form if I have a point on my line and I have the slope. You can use either point. You don't want to mix or match. I'll just go ahead and use this point right here. So we'll say y minus the y coordinate. So y minus 3 equals the slope, which we figured out is 2, times x minus the x coordinate of the point, which is 4. Okay, let's go ahead and rewrite this a little bit. Let's distribute the 2. So that's going to give us 2x minus 8. Let's add 3 to both sides to get y by itself. So now you can see y equals 2x minus 5. And that's the equation of our line of best fit. Now, they might ask you an additional question, like find out what y is when x is like 10. You know, And you can see, look, if I put in 10, I can get my y coordinate of my point. Let's take a look at another example. Okay, see if you can pause the video and try example number two here on your own for some additional practice. If I was gonna do this problem, I would look at these points and it looks like to me that this is trending down to the right. This is what we call a negative correlation or it has a negative R value. And if I was gonna draw my line of best fit, again, I don't want it so high that all the points are below that line of best fit. I don't want the line so low that all the points are above. I wanna draw it in such a way that you know, the line comes as close to uh, you know, the points as possible. Of course, some are going to be a little bit above, some are going to be a little bit below. This is just an estimation. This is not the exact line of best fit. Uh, I have a video, again, like I said, talking about that um, linear regression. You can check that out if you're interested. So for this one, I'm just going to estimate that our line looks something like uh, this. Okay. Now, you can see it's going through these two points right here. These are the points 4, 2 and negative 2, 4. So we're going to use those two points to find our slope and then find the y-intercept. Now, you might be saying, well, Mario, we already know the y-intercept, but you can see it's hard to tell. Is this going exactly through 3? Is it a little bit above or a little bit below? So let's just go through the steps. I would start by finding the slope using our slope formula. So I would say uh, y minus y, so 4 minus 2, over negative 2 minus 4, and that comes out to, let's see, 2 over negative 6, which is negative 1 third. Okay, now we can use the slope-intercept form or the point-slope form. I'll show you the slope-intercept form uh, this time. 
uh, just so you can see another way of doing it. So I would say y is equal to negative one-third x plus b. We don't know the b or the y-intercept. You can pick one of the points, either this point or this point. I think I'm just going to use this one right here. I'm going to put 2 in for y. And I'm going to put 4, which is like 4 over 1, in for x. And now we can solve for b. So this comes out to negative 4 thirds plus b is equal to 2. I'm going to add the 4 thirds to the other side. Now 2, if we multiply the top and bottom by 3, that's actually 6 thirds plus 4 thirds gives us a b value of 10 thirds. So now when we write our equation, y is equal to negative 1 third x plus 10 thirds. And you got it, 10 thirds is 3 and 1 third. So see it's crossing slightly higher than 3. So if you want to see another example where I talk about estimating lines of best fit, you want some additional practice, follow me over to that video I did right there and we'll get some more practice. I'll see you there.